Hey everyone, Eric from Microchip Technology here. Microchip offers a variety of hardware tools for rapid embedded development. Today we're going to be talking about our Curiosity Nano development platform, which are powerful, cost-effective development and debugging platforms. With features such as a push button, LED, and access to all of your microcontroller's pins, you're able to easily evaluate different MCU architectures for your designs. Today we're going to be unboxing a Curiosity Nano development board and running through the first steps new or experienced users should follow to begin developing an application. Every Curiosity board ships in a red box that contains your chosen board and the accompanying solderless pin headers. If you look very closely at the development board, there are two kinds of pin breakouts from the target MCU. There are castellated edges for soldering pins too, but for your convenience, there are also staggered through holes for the included pin headers. With the solderless pin headers attached, you can breadboard designs or use one of our Curiosity Nano baseboards to add additional functionality with Microelectronica clipboards. Today, we will not be using the pin headers as we'll only be using the onboard LED and push button. The first step you should take when you receive your board is to download MPLAB X, our integrated development environment. To download MPLAB X, first visit our website at microchip.com, then navigate to tools and resources, and then browse all. Here you can see links to all of our software and hardware development tools. We'll click on MPLAB X IDE and scroll down until you've found the download links for your operating system. In this example today, we'll be using MPLAB X for Windows. To begin installation, press Next, read and accept our license agreement, choose your installation location, select what features you would like to be downloaded, and for new users who aren't sure what they'll really need, I suggest downloading all the features, and lastly, begin installation. Additionally, we'll need to download a compiler. For PIC and AVR products, we will download XC8. Let's head back to the same tools and resources page to XC compilers. Select download an XC8 compiler, scroll down and begin the download of MPLAB XC8 C compiler that matches your operating system. Follow the same set of instructions as before to install XC8. Now we're ready to open MPLAB X IDE. Once MPLAB X is opened, we see that MPLAB Code Configurator is already installed. MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC, is a graphical programming environment that generates easy to understand C code and functions that you can use within your application. Additionally, MCC makes it easy to configure your device, peripherals, and pins. To utilize MCC, let's go ahead and plug our Curiosity Nano board into our computer using a micro USB cable. When your Curiosity Nano board is connected to your machine, a kit window will appear within MPLAB X. This kit window will confirm the microcontroller you are using and offer some excellent resources all in one spot. Linked in the kit window are things like the microcontroller's datasheet, the Curiosity Nano schematics, and the hardware user guide, as well as a link to the pre-filtered view within MPLAB Discover, our home for code write-ups where you can explore published examples made specifically for your device. To try out an example, simply download the files from the upper right-hand corner. Then you can unzip the code example to where you'd like the code example to be stored. Then back in MPLAB X, go ahead and click File, Open Project, search for the project you downloaded, and then open the .x file. This will load the project into MPLAB X. Right click on the example and set it as your main project. Now when you click Make and Program, it will program your board with that example. Be sure to choose your connected Curiosity Nano board if prompted and after your board is programmed, you're able to try out the code example. 
Thank you for watching this guide on how to get started with your Curiosity Nano development board. There are some web pages linked in the description below which cover the hardware and software tools discussed in this video. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.